good morning everyone and today we're here in Wears Valley well Tennessee and we're gonna head into Elvira's Cafe it's got an interesting name but we hear well they got good food and the parking lot here is filled you ready Don I'm ready let's do this let's do it. Well, here's their menu. Elvira's Cafe got French toast, which is $10.49. They got well, a full stack of hot cakes. The Tennessee Haystack, which is $10.99. So they use fresh and local. The Mountain Man Omelet. That's looking good. It's actually using swaggerly sausage. So they got a scrambler, biscuits and gravy. Of course they have, well, crepes. They also have a lunch menu too. They got BLTs, they got a Reuben, cheeseburger, um, build your own salad, roasted turkey sandwich, Philly cheesesteak, $11.49, and chicken tenders. Well here's my omelet, look at that. They put a sausage gravy on top and of course a side of toast. And what did you get, Dawn? I ordered the um, Nutella strawberry peanut butter Nutella. Uh, crap. Crap. It's, it's a, a crap. crap. And then you had a side of a side of eggs, yeah. Yes. So yeah, you have bananas and strawberries and what have you. That's what my omelet looks like. You can tell that it's fresh with um, red bell peppers and, and sausage and bacon and it's piping hot. I ordered the mountain man omelet. Donnie ordered the hazy nana and then she ordered two eggs on top of that and it came out to 28.18. So we just left Elvira's, and um, so let's talk about the decor first. Um, I guess the best part was the the porch itself. Of course, it has beautiful wraparound porch and beautiful mountain views. Now, inside was basic, right? 
there was really nothing yes. like you know like some places we go to you know the, the decor is like real mountainy or, or whatever theme and it's it's a basic um you know just theming in there uh it was really hard to film uh, this video because there's a lot of people which speaks volumes about you know what they do there so i guess let's get into the food dawn you ordered what the crap the crap with strawberries and bananas and it was a nutella strawberry banana crap it was good yeah, now I I've never had a crap before. You, I, I never had a crap before. And so it kind of okay. And this is like in layman's terms um, or whatever you want to call it. It looked like a burrito, right? It was real thin. I thought maybe it was like I thought a crap was like a pancake kind of like, but this was like it was like very a style thin. pancake. It was like super thin, like like a pancake, like like, like you know what I mean, a, a tortilla shell, like. But I had a little bit of yours, and yes, uh, it was it, it definitely had fresh bananas and strawberries, so. It was good. Now, I ordered the hungry, I think they call it the, the mountain man omelet, right? Um, and it was really, uh, really good. Had an awesome taste. And that's because they coined themselves on using local product. Uh, they use uh, Swaggerty Sausage, which is here from Sevierville, all local vegetables from local farmers, uh, what have you. So, yes, and you could tell the difference in that omelet. You could, the onions were fresh. Everything was fresh. The tomatoes were we're, we're super fresh so yes it was actually really good um it was a great omelet so yes we had a great experience now we always ask these videos would we do this again would yes we do, yes definitely would do this again uh it's a great great place to eat of course this place here is the main passerby uh as you're on your way to cades cove and so um and of course they're extremely busy because i bet you cades cove is going to be busy today um i guess another thing is the value um i would say it's about average for this area but there's a big plus to that whole thing and that is that they actually use local product and that could be more expensive than if they were getting it from like china or like mexico so that could drop that down below that average and we definitely recommend uh elvira's out here they actually got two really good restaurants out here hillbillies and elvira's so we're down here next to the convention center uh behind the new food city of course don want to come down here to feed those i think they're chinese uh geese the white ones <laughs> she calls them they kind of remind us of george well if you guys don't know who george is you gotta uh google uh, my pet goose George okay um, he's a YouTube channel friend of ours and of course Don just loves the and those these Chinese ones are in fact she's back there uh, feeding these guys again well, these four Canadians are coming in for a Donnie surprise you guys hungry Here they come. A cardinal, really? Beautiful cardinal on his way. Well, there's mama and the babies. There they go. There they go behind the mama. Those guys out there are just, well, just standing on a on a sandbar.
evening walk here in Pigeon Forge. I call this River Walk. It pretty much goes all the way from, well, the Marriott, all the way over to, well, the mill. Of course, we're getting a, a beautiful sunset through the trees. And Dawn got to feed her her babies, right? Oh, well, you got that, that heron in, in flight. Yeah. And the dogs are, I guess, not liking each other over there. <laughs> Looks like this guy here went back to his nest. I think he's gonna he's gonna take a nap. Yeehaw Brewing Company has actually got a, a pretty comfy place to sit here I guess with your friends and you can enjoy uh, the island So wow, that was our day, right? So we started the day off at Elvira's, and um, it was a really cool breakfast, right? Oh, yeah, it was yes, a good breakfast. Yes, and then later on that evening, uh, we took a walk on River Walk, which is actually something we do quite often, um, and it was just a peaceful, relaxing sunset walk. And of course, we ended it at the island. But guys, that's going to do it for today here in Pigeon Forge. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our Smoky Mountain Adventures. We have Smoky Mountain Adventures every single day. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.